Hey guys, it's Baby Powder. I'm coming to you with another one of my amazing multi-boss gold guides where I show you how easy it is to make lots of gold with less effort and without a group. Now, this farm that I'm actually showing you guys today, I haven't really done like one of my 30 minute or less farms uh, in a while. And uh, this one can definitely be like a 30 minute or 15 minute farm. Basically, you can do it for however long you like uh, and really get a lot of these pets that we're gonna be farming today. Uh, to, in order to put up on the auction house on multiple realms. Uh, it just really depends on how long you want to do it uh, and everything. But it's, it's really neat because a lot of people have asked me, you know, what do I use uh, my monk groups for? Because they've seen that I actually have monks, uh, uh, a set of monks or whatever, uh, when I'm doing my stream. Um, and they've been curious about that. And I've kind of explained, well, I use it to like hop realms and, and jump to different realms to farm certain rares and things like that. And I also use them for what we're going to do today, which today we are going to be going out to the Timeless Isle. Uh, so I will see you there in just a bit and we will see what exactly I am talking about farming today. All right, guys. So here we are. Uh, this is my monk group and we are right here on the Timeless Isle. Right here, uh, which you get to if you're not aware of, uh, go to the Jade Forest out in Panda Land and then you just come over here now. The way uh, the farm that we're actually doing is, is it's right here. We're doing the J Mist Dancers, which you might be aware of. I'm sure plenty of people have seen them. Um, you come over here, you kill these guys, uh, and you know they actually they're not too slow at respawning, but I mean they're definitely not as slow as rares, and they're just regular mobs. Uh, but they do take a little while. So what I do is I will actually go around and kill. A whole group of them I'll, I'll pull a decent amount together and uh, once I kill them as you see I have my whole group here of different monks I will actually which I didn't get that one let's go ahead and pull this one over too I will actually just use I don't actually have the looter ring which uh, it'd be awesome if you have looter ring <laughs> it'd, it'd work probably a lot better at least uh, what I'll do is I will actually have all my tunes uh, right here, which I'll show you the chat log. I, I just use the regular loot macro. Unlock the window. I'll pull that over here and uh, I'll actually have all the loot. As you see, they all actually loot the mobs here just by pressing. I have the uh, interactive target uh, key bound to a button. And then I also have uh, a macro for them to actually interact with the target, uh, which is right here. I'll show you real quick. The inter interact with target just looks like this slash assist focus slash interact uh, so I'll press both of those buttons actually to have them do that uh, but like I said you can just do the whole same thing with your regular druid group especially if you already have them on different realms you can just bring them out here and do this and uh, just have them use the looter rain to do it but this is just a way I can do it with this group without them actually having to have engineering um, so yeah, just do that. And then, as you see, I'm waiting for respawn. So what I do with this group is I've also created a macro uh, for everybody to leave group. And everybody leaves group. Then as you see on this realm, <laughs> I have uh, respawns. So I also have another macro for this, you know, everybody to invite the team to the group. And that's what I'll do. I'll start over again and I'll clear them out all out in this realm. And each one of these monks are on a different realm. This is about the, the only time I really suggest really having all of your um, tunes or potatoes or everything on a different realm. It's just for doing stuff like this or, or hunting down rares or anything like that. Uh, as I've kind of explained that most times I think it's better to actually have your farming group on the same realm uh, for when you're farming materials at least. Because, you know, sometimes a certain material is more expensive on one realm, uh, less expensive on the other. And it actually can really, you know, change your mind about farming a certain item, which might be really good on the one realm. But then you're like, ah, oh, is it really worth it? Because it's just going to suck on the other one. And it's like, ah, oh, now I don't really want to do it. And you, you're just missing a lot of sales that you could be getting. Uh, so I really think that it is best to have all of your druids, at least, you know, <laughs> you could do druids for both groups, but all of your druids for, uh, for farming your material farms and your regular farms to actually have them on the same realm 
and then have like a group like this where you can hop realms uh and then i just keep doing that now eventually i actually messed up i have where two of my monks they're on different realms but they are still on the same shard somehow i uh, somehow missed that and so even though they have two different auction houses they actually uh will still be on the same plane or whatever uh they, you'll actually still see the same uh mobs and everything so i wasn't able to hop to another round there i was only able to hop between four different realms so what i would do and even if you are able to hop to five you might run out of you know where you're, you're still waiting on respawns just because you know you kill them so fast i would actually come over here and kill these guys these spine claw guys real quick just for a chance to possibly spawn the monstrous spine claw uh because he has a small chance a really small chance but he can drop uh this crab pet that is you know i know back in the day it would actually go from like you know two to three hundred thousand gold or something like that something crazy uh but yeah definitely worth taking your chance and, and just trying to do that and then coming back here and see if that rare spawns or not uh just to kill time while you're waiting for the other ones um but after after all that i did it for about 30 minutes or actually let me show you the macro real quick guys the macro for the leaf party in case you want to do that too is right here it's just slash script uh leaf party then the the parentheses or whatever uh so yeah definitely definitely good to have that and like uh the macro in case you were wondering too about the uh the actual group one that is just this right here i mean it's just everybody's name slash invite uh and then their realm so uh you can do that as well like I said, just, you know, keep on, uh, you know, I just leave the party. I would actually, you know, jump to each screen and see, you know, if they actually have anything up. Um, but in case you're wondering why we're actually doing this farm, uh, we are doing it to get these right here. These J Miss Dancers. Now, as the same name as the mob there, uh, they aren't the most expensive pets, but like I said, you can do it and just, you know, uh, 15 minutes 30 minutes to see how many you get you can do like 15 minutes or however long it takes you to wipe out every single realm go back go out and do something else uh maybe go hunt other stuff around the island there's plenty of stuff to do uh and then come back and do it again uh or just take a break and play a different character come back within a, you know a couple minutes or so uh but during 30 minutes i stuck to it did it for 30 minutes like i said i would kill them come over and kill these spine claws and then uh i ended up actually getting eight of them which is not too bad they're they're not actually showing a market value because i guess i don't actually have this realm actually on my tsm uh i actually all i do with these tunes is i don't actually even put them on the auction house for these realms all i do is actually get the pets and then i mail them over uh or i learn them on my actual realms that i sell stuff on uh so what i actually do is uh i, I do have the region market value though it is showing me at 9800 uh, and we've got eight of them. So if we take 9,800 and we multiply that by eight, that gives us 78,400 gold. So not a whole bunch, but it is a different item you can put up on the auction house. It's not that hard to do. Like I said, you could even do it for less than 15 minutes. You could, you know, I just wanted to kind of really see how long it would take with the respawns and everything. So I did it for 30. Um, and you know that's not a bad chunk of gold especially since you can actually sell it on multiple different realms so you can spread it all out uh and get that little bit of extra gold all right guys well i hope you liked the video for the Jameis dancer farm uh out there on the Thomas Isle. there's a whole bunch of stuff you can actually do out there so even while you're waiting for those respawns you can go do a lot more uh i just i was stuck in just trying to see you know just how much you can get within that amount of time and while you know having to wait for the respawns and everything else it's really not bad at all you know, especially if you're able to hop realms like i was doing uh now if you're out there on a single tune or you're out there on your group that's all in one realm you know definitely go out and do other stuff or or hop off and go do something else on a different character and come back don't <laughs> i wouldn't just sit out there the whole time waiting for the respawns because you will be waiting for a while um but yeah definitely not bad at all definitely happy with getting eight of them we got like two within like our first pull, like first minute or so actually so it was like our first pull a lot of that time probably was you know me actually waiting for a response just because of i was only doing it on four realms because you know my two being sharded and then also the fact that uh we just killed him so fast so 
you're able to still beat them with even hopping the realms like that um so yeah definitely uh take advantage of that get another pet up on your uh bank and everything like that uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, go ahead and make sure you hit that sub subscribe button down below. Also, hit that thumbs up. Definitely helps out. Also, don't forget about the links down below for Twitch, where I stream, and also for things like the Discord channel and for uh, Facebook and Twitter, where you can follow me on there. There is also now a Patreon page where if you guys would like to support the channel a little bit further, you can go out there and check that out. I just created it. So uh, it will be getting more of an update later. It is just, you know, pretty basic right now because just started it yesterday <laughs> but uh i would like to give a shout out to marn uh for already uh pledging a tier on the patreon page i definitely appreciate the support dude you're awesome uh but anyway guys that's about all i have this is baby powder peace i'm out